Hey everybody, so I got a quick video to do. Um, I did the video with the unboxing about the LED strip lights. Um, so right now I'm actually going to be doing a video of them on on my TV stand because I installed them on my TV stand. Um, I have a three tier TV stand. I only installed them on two tiers. It took the entire 16.4 foot feet. So um, stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. All right, so let me uh, turn some lights on. Maybe it'll help. Um, yeah, it kind of looks more pure on the camera with the lights on. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, it's just I'm going to be walking through it. I installed them on the LED strip lights that I got from Amazon. I guess they were for they were I didn't pay for them. They were free, so uh, I'm guessing they're for review and testing. Um, here's the remote uh, It's got a dimmer up and down So I push this and it dims them Go up um, It's got a play button. It's got a off button. You can turn it off Okay, so it's got several colors f for the red zone and then you can tweak it up and down uh, same with the green and the blue and then it has a white, like a pink. I turn this on, this light on. So these are the colors it has. Red, orange, lighter orange, light, light orange, yellow, green, light, a little bit lighter green, a kind of a, a blue, like a, a greenish blue, teal, turquoise, and then a dark blue, medium blue, purple kind of a slight pink like a fuchsia pink a regular pink white and then this is not these two look like they're pink um, and these two look like they're teal more or less but they don't show up on that that color so here's dark red got orange which the camera doesn't seem to do it justice in my opinion oh it actually looks orange there um, lighter orange kind of has this orange has more of a yellow um, the camera's not picking up the yellow but me looking at it it's got more of a yellowish orange hue to it and then this button right here is more of a yellow and then this button at the bottom which is yellow is actually in my opinion looking at it looks more like a green looks like a neon color green and you have dark green medium green which this kind of looks like a greenish blue you got kind of a teal and then an even brighter teal and then um, this looks more like a a bright medium blue with a teal hue and you have really dark blue really that's a little bit lighter of a blue this one has more of a purple hue to it and then more purple and then like a pink hue and then pure white this is the pink on the remote up here and then that pink and then this kind of turquoise or teal um, I get turquoise and teal mixed up I think this is teal I think these were turquoise um, and then an even lighter one and then if I turn this light off so it's not affecting it this little car down here um, red my human eye sees it better than the camera does but it actually turns bright orange and then you go down the list and it's now like a medium orange you go to yellow. Yellow makes all the lettering on the car pop a little more. Um, if you go to medium green or dark green, it actually looks like burgundy red. Um, so the lighting is pretty neat. If you do like the purpley pink, it's a, this neon orange. 
blue makes it kind of a burnt orange white makes it look normal this teal or turquoise over here kind of makes it look brown and then I also noticed this with my Xbox if I show the white my Xbox uh, Gears of War edition is actually a bright red with darker red splatter if I click on red it darkens the splatter makes the splatter pop try to get it in here there you go makes the splatter pop if I lighten it on the camera you know go to yellow it makes the stripes pop because these are actually embedded in um, green kind of makes it look black medium green And then I go to like the turquoise and it makes it look more black. If you go to blue, blue makes it actually look purple. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. Oh, there you go. Blue actually makes it kind of look like a purple color, like a dark purple, like a violet. A little lighter blue, it turns it back to a red. Go to the pink, pink pops, makes the purple pop, or the red pop again. And then the bright fuchsia pink color actually makes the Xbox look normal, just a little brighter. White makes it look pure like it, it does in normal light. Pink, this last color over here, this kind of pinky color, it darkens the red, makes the red deeper. And then um, this teal or turquoise down here actually makes it look like a dark, dark burgundy with a purple hue. And um, it's got a quick function. Move it to red click auto and it flashes this is just going to be like a demonstration so it's on auto right now and then click the quick button and it actually flashes like that runs through it quickly and it does kind of a strobing function uh, seizure warning for anybody that has really bad seizures um, and then you can click slow motion and it will move slow and it'll speed up go back to slow and then you have do-it-yourself one through six which I think these are settings that you can set for specific colors you like I haven't set that up is a RF remote control. It's a pretty nice remote. Takes a 20-25 battery, coin cell battery. It has a jump three function, which will do a specific set of jumping colors. And it has jump seven. Kind of flashes a different set of colors in a different pattern. I have, there's a fade three. and a fade seven. And then there's the flash button, which just flashes a color. I think flash only flat, yeah, flash only flashes white. The other thing I've noticed is the dimmer you click a solid color, the dimmer works on any color you choose. Any color you like. Flash always goes to white. You can, uh, like I did, you can dim it. And you can brighten it while it's flashing. If you choose.
jump. I don't know if you can. Oh, you can dim. You can dim every function. So if you don't want it to be bright, you can dim it if you choose. Like that. Turn the brightness back up. I'm going to go through the colors again. I'm on green now. The purples, the blue section, dark blue makes it look like a pur dark burgundy purple. Or reddish purple. The medium blue kind of turns red. Purple button turns it bright red. And even brighter red for the Xbox and then Pink makes it look like a, a really, really bright red when it's not. And this blue over here actually makes it look like a dark, dark burgundy, like a plum kind of purple for the Xbox. So it does actually change the colors of some things. All of these flashlights down here are all regular red handles, but when you change the color, like blue, um, dark blue makes these kind of look burgundy and it makes this one look like uh, orange for some reason but uh, it's just different lighting effects I think it looks neat I just figured I'd give you guys a demonstration I haven't messed with these arrows I don't know how the arrows work it didn't the lights and the remote and everything did not come with instructions on how the remote works for the up and down arrows for the red, green, and blue categories. I don't know what they do. I'll turn this light on real quick so I can show you these up and downs. I do not know what they do. I showed all of these buttons from here all the way on the outside all the way up. I showed all of these colors and all the buttons on the top. The play button, I haven't figured out what it does either. Um, but do it, your, do it yourself one changes to changes to everything to white. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I actually did just figure it out. You can actually adjust. So if you click on do it yourself one, and you can actually push these up and down. So it changed it to a blue. It allows you to customize it the exact way you want it. And then you mess with the green, add green to it. Make it really dark blue. And then it allows you to dim and all kinds of stuff. So if you turn the blue all the way up on the blue category. Fold in some green. It allows you to customize the red, green, and the blue to make a color that you want. I'll have to play with that a little more. And then I guess you can choose different. So do it yourself. So if you click do it yourself and then you start messing with these, it will actually allow you to customize do it yourself one. So then you click do it yourself two and you would change your own colors there. So that's pretty neat. And then off. And then if I turn this light off, and then I'll turn this light off, and I'll turn these two kitchen lights off so it's completely dark in here. I'll stand back. I'll turn them back on. So it gets pretty dim if you're looking at it from. Like this and I'll go through the colors on dim real quick blue or I'm on green green two
some of these colors are hard to see on dim. There's blue, pinkish purple, going into the purple realm, then white. And then I'll brighten it up again. It does get really bright. You can see completely behind the TV stand. And when you're sitting on the couch, you actually can't see the LEDs other than those. One, two, three, four, five, six are on the on the leg over there. But you can't see the, the six on the leg over here at all. Because the, there's another TV stand or table there. And then go through the colors one more time with all the lights off. Give you guys a different view. Red. Orange. Lighter orange, yellowish orange, yellow, green, lighter green, even lighter green, kind of a teal, and like a, another teal, and dark blue, medium blue, purple, lighter purple, and a fuchsia pink kind of color then white and then this is where it gets into that kind of uh, peachy color and then a darker peachy color and then I think this would be the turquoise and a lighter turquoise and the turquoise I might be getting fused the turquoise could be actually in the green section and the teal is actually in the white category section so these two down here could be teal, and I could be mistaken. These two at the bottom could be turquoise. I'm sure somebody's going to correct me. Just figured I'd show you guys. Um, I didn't pay for these. I just installed them on my TV stand because um, I thought it would be nice. It'd be a good light if I need to you know, put a disc in the Xbox or the PlayStation 3 or the PlayStation 4. Or, you know, I need to switch wires over or I need to mess with the Wii U or the Wii or the 360 or direct TV or the hard drives um, I also have plugged into my TV but it's on this table which the tables kind of messy but I have uh, the Nintendo switch sitting right here and I have the Wii U controller sitting right here which they're dusty because they haven't been used the my potato chips and stuff on my table my xbox elite controllers and some headsets so uh hope this uh video hope this video helps you guys i appreciate you guys watching uh please like comment subscribe check out my amazon affiliate links and um i did clean this uh, cart um, and also uh, I already yeah I said go check out my Amazon affiliate links uh, please like comment subscribe go check out some um, more of my videos if you guys like the content that I'm providing um, hopefully this helps you guys I'll put a link down in the description for um, these LED strips um, they are 120 volt strips so you just plug them into a wall outlet I have done some testing. Um, I had them on for probably about four or five hours today. And the, the, the plug that goes into the 120 volt plug outlet, um, that actual uh, brick only got to about 70 to 9 to 84 degrees, which isn't too bad. I'll do some testing later on uh, to see, you know, leave them on when I'm I have an entire day or whatever leave them on for 12 or 24 or something hours or go to bed and leave them on for two or three days or something and to see how hot that plug gets and see what the temperature reading on some of the LEDs are um, it just had the LED strips on the back had just you know blue tape you pulled the tape off and I just stuck them to the underneath the TV stand so if you're standing in in my my office and you're looking at the TV stand you actually cannot see the strips other than the left corner down here 
with them being off this set right here and that set right there you cannot see the ones that actually run underneath here they actually run underneath this corner all the way around on the underneath the top shelf and on the bottom shelf they only are in the front but you can't see them from here um, so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video and um, enjoy the rest of your guys day peace Oh, and like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for future updates if you guys want to see future updates, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.